What's up guys, back here again with another Air Jordan 1 unboxing in a new Phantom colorway. And let's take a closer look. So the first thing that stands out to us about this new Jordan 1 colorway is that it takes a bit of a different approach with some of the things that we usually see kept uniform across all of the Jordan 1 drops we've seen so far this year and last year. First and foremost, the eyelets that we see all along the lateral and medial side are given a new metallic treatment, so they're made out of metal and they come in contrasting white compared to the rest of the sail and phantom we see throughout. Nike took a similar approach to these eyelets as they do with the Vandal that usually comes with metallic eyelets, but we don't usually see it with this Jordan 1 model. Moving on from that, Nike really emphasized the exposed stitching on this model. I mean, we see contrasting stitching all throughout. We have the red on the toe box, the red on the mud guard, the swoosh, and then toward the quarter heel. And even on the tongue, we see a whole bunch of contrasting stitching that kind of brings out a whole new look. Another thing that was a bit interesting to speak on that more is that toward the heel and the tongue, it's black, whereas the rest of the sneaker is red. And usually with the Jordan 1, we see stitching kept uniform in the same color, but for some strange reason, they chose to mix it up here to really emphasize the nature and bring out more color to the shoe itself. Moving on from that, another difference that we see here is on the ankle collar. It's made out of a nylon material here and the underlay right under the Jordan Wings logo. That's also usually kept uniform and made out of leather to match the rest of the sneaker, but here they mixed things up and went with nylon. Underneath the double stacked swoosh, which adds a nice red color, kind of acting as a shadow, both on the lateral and medial side here, you can see a nice red texture, but underneath that is a bit of a pre-distressed leather. It kind of adds a interesting crinkly look. It's here and also on the toe box, not the usual tumble leather that we've become accustomed to with a lot of the Jordan 1s. It seems like the designers took a little bit of a more uh, premium approach to this design, like we said with all the stitching, that pre-distressed leather, and the aforementioned metallic lacelets that we mentioned. Moving back toward the tongue, we see another dual colored hit, the red swoosh on the Nike Air tongue tag. That's another thing that's become popular with the last few drops the ones that had that SP 2019 hit along the medial side. This doesn't have that, but it does have that same red colored swoosh as opposed to just keeping it black like we've usually seen in the past. Back to the laces, both pairs here comes with the white laces. Well, it's actually more of a sail color to match the underlays, whereas the overlays are phantom, which is where this shoe got its name. From here, it doesn't look all that different, but when you have the shoe up close, you can see that there really is a difference between that lighter gray shade and the creamier sail hue that takes up the underlays and the heel of this shoe. It'll come with three laces, the sail ones that we just mentioned, and then you'll also get to choose between University Red to match its stitching and ankle collar, as well as black. We think that at first glance it kind of reminds us of the Air Jordan 1 Metallic Red, one of the original colorways from 1985. There are a lot of differences to this shoe, but kind of just the ankle collar and the red and white, not to say that it's inspired by it or that it's the same, but there are some comparisons that can be made to that original colorway. As for the release, the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Phantom will be dropping in Europe on March 16th and in the United States on March 30th. And we expect that it'll have a similar rollout that the Turbo Greens and the Natural Grays had where they'll kind of sit at first, but eventually sizes will sell out. And be sure to let us know if you want to see the Jordan brand come out with more pairs with the contrast stitching like this. We could see them coming out with like a navy blue or a royal blue, something similar to this. As always, thank you for watching.